Hey guys, hope you are doing very well today as the crypto market is doing well. And happy holiday if you are celebrating Thanksgiving. So we are heading into a fantastic weekend. My name is Mike Denkler from Coronex and I'm bringing you the most important crypto news, technical analysis, altcoin, NFT, DeFi gems every day to keep you updated and educated. Nothing in this video can be considered as a financial or investment advice. So everything just for your education and also for fun. So let's share my screen and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and smash those like and push the bell notification all. And but um, you see, you see that few coins are pumping well, like Gala basic retention tokens, KuCoin shares, OKB, Immutable X, Matic, Qtum, Shiba started to pump, Cardano broke uh, up, Theta, and also Zcash Maker doing well. Uh, we see CRO, Wemix, and Lin LN consolidating, uh, but I think they pumped in the past week, so that is why they are consolidating now. Let's check what the crypto fear index is showing today. It is at 32. So now we are in the fear, fear zone. Yesterday also we were at 42 in the fear. Uh, so after a short period of uh, neutral zone, uh, just the index uh, went down to the fear zone. And as you know, when investors are getting so fearful, that uh, it's a good buying opportunity. When investors are getting greedy and greediness can last for months, that it's due for a correction. So let's go and check our first news that Bitcoin solidifies support at 58,000 US dollar as BTC price volatility hits seven months low. Okay, this is the chart. So Bitcoin broke up. And this was a kind of double bottom or maybe a triple bottom formation. Uh, so at least this is a good sign. Now 56 acting as a support and 60,000 acting as a resistance. So keep all your eyes on 60,000. Maybe uh, tomorrow we will have some volatility as options and futures expiry uh, will happen. But um, uh, after that, uh, BTC can start its move either down or up, but uh, for sure uh, some volatility uh, can happen. Bitcoin has certainly solidified its support here, producing a long dump sign wick into the bottom of the back wedging structure and rebounding strongly. Also, today's candlestick is forming a higher low relative to yesterday's daily candle. Okay, so where we see a higher low? Actually, this is a downward trend with this wedge. So we have always a downward trending continuation, but uh, uh, we see we are betting that the market will consolidate instead of breaking lower. Bitcoin volatility time series chart. So we see the volatility is, uh, is decreasing, but uh, uh, still we have volatility, but this is good because this is how traders can make more money in crypto than with traditional assets or uh, on FX market. Limp altcoins led by Solana support retest. Yes, so Solana retested the support at 200. The very thing, peop uh, thing people cheering on at the expense of others can be the very thing that ends this cycle. Yeah, that's a good question. <clears throat> Oh, I see a news, quite interesting. Let's check this news. <laughs> that is why Hillary Clinton is, uh, uh, she is not loving uh, crypto. Regulate crypto to stop manipulation by Russia and China. The former Secretary of State warns that if it uh, if left under regulated cryptocurrency markets and social media platforms could destabilize the US dollar as the reserve currency. We are looking at not only states such as China, Russia, or other manipulating technology of all kinds to their advantage. We are looking at non-state actors, actors either in concert with uh, states or on their own destabilizing countries, destabilizing the dollar as a reserve currency. So I see 
US is fearing Bitcoin. But this is uh, good to know. Next piece of news is Bitcoin will hit 100,000 US dollars, according to experts. Here is when predict uh, will happen. So yesterday I made a video and, and Tom Waits predicted that uh, uh, he thinks that it's unlikely that Bitcoin will hit 100,000. But let's see what other analysts are saying and what is their prediction. But uh, why is not opening up this article? Why? Actually, it was there. It was here, but I cannot see the rest of the article. Okay. Yeah, something wrong. Bitcoin price prediction. Ian Balina says uh, seventy-five thousand by end of the year. Matthew Highland say uh, predicts two hundred and fifty thousand by January twenty twenty-two. Robert Breedlove predicts three hundred and seven thousand by October twenty twenty-one. Now passed and uh, twelve point five million by twenty thirty-one. Hope uh, he will uh, hit this prediction for 2031. Okay, scarcity, mainstream adoption, regulation, mining cycles, these all will push Bitcoin uh, adoption and Bitcoin price further. Let's go to our next news. Crypto price prediction, volcanoes could push Bitcoin to 1 million in five years, leaving Ethereum BNB, Solana, Cardano, XRP, and Sierra in the dust. Okay, fun, but we'll see. I would, I would be the happiest guy on the planet if all these coins would uh, just reach a new highs at that time. So now Samson Mo, Chief Strategy Officer of Blockchain Technology Provider Blockstream, he, he said he expects El Salvador's volcano-powered Bitcoin backbones to have the Bitcoin price climbed to 1 million US dollar per Bitcoin in just five years. So guys, uh, I think we already uh, mentioned this article, but uh, uh, I haven't seen this five years uh, time frame. but good to, good to see that uh, uh, <clears throat> we have five years to reach 1 million US dollars. So let's check this news. Uh, Bitcoin whales continue massive accumulation as BTC supply moves to strong hands. So if we have been waiting for Bitcoin whales to show signs of accumulation, our data indicates it's happening once again. In the past week, a total uh, 59,000 uh, BTC has been added to addresses that hold between 100 to 10,000 BTC. This is uh, <clears throat> almost a zero. 0.3 percent of the total supply and let's make this bigger so uh, the green is the bitcoin price and this pink is the accumulation of whales so you see whales just realized some profit in the at the new all-time high and now they are buying back their positions and i like on-chain analysis and it's because uh, then we can see more insider data especially from real clemente let's check what is he <clears throat> explaining on this chart so this is the bitcoin chart we have this uh, blue line this is the illiquid supply ratio and we see if we have some bullish diverge diverge divergence here that after that we see a nice bull run and it seems that we have a bullish divergence uh, in the Bitcoin price and the illiquid supply ratio. So illiquid supply ratio, the, the amount of Bitcoin that are not liquid and this ratio is increasing. Over the last two weeks, clear bullish divergence between BTC supply moving to strong hands and price. Cool. Bitcoin in deep oversold territory. This is advanced NVT blue line has now dropped deep into oversold territory green bands. Bitcoin is looking seriously cheap relative to network activity here on high time frames, expecting a strong reaction in the not too distant future. This is the net value. Was this NVT net value to what? Okay, I don't know, but uh, not 
uh, not uh, that the most important thing. Let's check this chart. This is the Bitcoin price. And we see we have this uh, blue line. And now, uh, according to this blue line, Bitcoin is oversold. Okay, so market cap volume and the market cap volume and the moving averages. So, Morgan Stanley Gross Portfolio Fund added uh, a staggering 1.5 million shares of the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. Similarly to Bank Insight Fund also added 600 shares of GBTC. So in the meantime, Morgan Stanley and other uh, institutions are buying uh, Grayscale shares. So actually they are buying Bitcoin because Grayscale shares, Grayscale share, share is a kind of, it's acting like an ETF. It's not an ETF, but it's acting like an ETF. Shareholders are getting, getting positions in Bitcoin. So next piece of news is Bitcoin's third largest whale added nearly 380 million US dollar in BTC in less than two weeks. So this, uh, this third biggest whale added almost 400 million US dollar to his portfolio or her portfolio. We don't know if it's he, he or she, but maybe it's an organization. Uh, third largest Bitcoin whale added a uh, lot of Bitcoin and, and we see on this chart that they added also uh, this week 616, 854 and also the last week a couple of thousands. So this is a good evidence to analyze this on, block, uh, on the blockchain and getting these informations. Bitcoin was accumulated 142 thousand BTC last week moving their total holdings close to the 200,000 mark a high that hadn't been seen so far this year so what does that mean that the big Bitcoin holders are buying so the whales are accumulating more and more Bitcoin in this drop let's go to our next news lots of chat in this news Ethereum poised to dramatically outperform Bitcoin and other altcoins, predicts analyst Justin Bennett. Okay, Ethereum BTC looks ready. I'm thinking it, ETH outpaces pretty much everything over the next few weeks. So this is the um, Ethereum Bitcoin chart with a clear breakout from this uh, symmetrical triangle with a perfect retest and then continuing this pattern in a smaller uh, a smaller form but uh, uh, the price target is up so at least double uh, the Ethereum price against BTC everyone is looking to BTC for clues about this cycle but what if ETH becomes the leading indicator at a half trillion dollar market cap and 19% uh, market dominance Ethereum is no slouch Time to pay equal attention to both, in my opinion. ETH potential higher, low above 400, looks bullish to me. 440 is resistance, above 460, and we won. So now we are hovering between 440 and 460. BTC looks pretty good here for a relief rally back to 63,000 region. Needs to hold the line at 55,000 and gets through 60,000. So also this is what we expect, but maybe we will spend more time uh, in this sideways movement between 56 and 60,000. BTC so far so good, break this four hour trend line and we are in business. So there is a four hour trend line and it should be uh, broken. And I think now we already broke this because we are at 59,000 uh, when I'm recording this video. So please smash the like, smash the like. And put in the comment section, what is your price prediction for the end of the year for Bitcoin and Ethereum? Next piece of news is the metaverse is a one trillion opportunity after users increase 10 times. Grayscale report. Okay, cool. Grayscale quote. 
compared to other Web3, Web3.0 and Web2.0 segments, Metaverse virtual world users are still in their early in innings. But if current growth rates remain on their current trajectory, this emerging segment has the potential to become mainstream in the coming years. Market opportunity, global revenue, uh, virtual world gaming totaled 180 million in 2020. Cool, 400 billion by 2025. Decentral and Mena Solana. Uh, so that's the R going nuts. Web 3.0 metaverse virtual worlds have benefited from rapid innovation and productivity gains. Crypto virtual worlds have created a multi million dollar primary and secondary market for creators owners by eliminating capital controls and opening their digital borders to free market capitalism. The report reads. So that's so true. And this is why metaverses and gaming are so successful next piece of news is axie infinity land nft sales for 2.3 million dollar surpasses record a genesis land plot at x infinity gets sold at 550 ethereum uh, and back uh, february 9th genesis land plots were sold for uh, 1.5 million the platform also recently announced a breeding event for their players breeding event cool so this is about x infinity but i think mana uh, decentraland and sand is developing a much much um, sophisticated um, metaverse ripple ceo says not convinced dogecoin is for crypto market oh quite interesting Quote, I'm actually not convinced, somewhat controversially, I guess that Dogecoin is good for the crypto market. Dogecoin has some inflationary dynamics itself that would make me reluctant to hold it. Okay. But as, uh, yeah. Uh, just he's explaining that this is a joke and sometimes Elon Musk is pumpy, but nothing special with Dogecoin, and he he don't he doesn't see any real value in Dogecoin. Maybe he he's right. We'll see. Next piece of news is Stripes says it's considering bringing back crypto payment after previously ending support for Bitcoin payments. Stripe appears to be consolidating crypto again, so that will be huge because Stripe one of the biggest payment provider in the US and uh, the CEO announced it at the FinTech Abu Dhabi Festival. So we, we got a lot of news about FinTech Abu Dhabi Festival. So good for you if you are there. And next piece of news is non-fungible token. Collins Dictionary picks NFT as 2021's word of the year. So guys, NFT is the word of the year so i cannot believe it i uh, hope um, last year uh, crypto was the word of the year nft nft the abbreviation of non-fungible token the unique digital identifier that reports ownership of a digital asset which has entered the mainstream and seen millions spent on the most sold after images and videos has been named collins word of the year 2021 it is one of the uh, free tech based words to make calling a longer list of 10 words of the year, which includes seven words brand new to collinsdictionary.com. <clears throat> okay, unique is important here. One of the non fungible, of, uh, re replaceable by any other piece of data. And what's really captured the public imagination around NFTs is the use of this technology to sell art. For example, the rights to a work by the uh, surrealist digital artist people sold at Christine's in March for 69 million US dollar. Called every day is the first uh, 5,000 days. It was a colli colla uh, collage of all images he would create it. So Ethereum, this is the Ethereum price. Uh, about calling a dictionary, cool. So uh, you should buy one dictionary and <clears throat> definitely uh, learn what uh, NFTs are. So looking on Bitcoin, we see this consolidation 
we see 56,000 acting as a resistance, volume is coming down, and 60,000 and six, uh, 60,700 will be a resistance. So now we have support at 56 and resistance at 60,000. And I expect a choppy Friday or maybe even a choppy weekend uh, because this option and futures expiry tomorrow. And after that, uh, and also people getting back from Thanksgiving, discussing crypto uh, or, or with family, then I think we will see a nice break up. But also, is there, there a chance, uh, there is a small chance to go down to 50 to 53,000 US dollars. Now the market looks really good for me. And let's check other coins. What Ethereum is doing, Ethereum is traded at uh, 4,500. It's supported by this uh, upper trending trend line. And also uh, the next resistance will be at 4,600. So we are getting closer and closer. But now, for now, 4,400 should be uh, the next support. What else with BNB? Also, I saw BNB wants to break up. Yes, so BNB uh, reached our uh, next mm, zone of uh, resistance. Now turn back a little bit but I expect to break down and reach a new all-time high uh, about 670. Yeah, other coins are looking good. Bitcoin dominance is going down. So that is how Bitcoin dominance is going down. So I think then uh, also there was a trend line here. There was a trend line and we broke this trend line. So Bitcoin dominance will come down, and this is bullish for altcoins. Cool. Yeah, we see a few coins. Also, Corinex is doing well today. Koti is doing well. And what else do we have here? We already mentioned Ethereum. Phantom, Phantom now consolidating after breaking up, now consolidating. And Kusama and Dot is doing well. Luna started to pump nice at 10% up. Matic uh, is coming up to and we already reached our resistance. Uh, take your, uh, your, your eyes on 1.88 if you're trading Matic. Solana is just starting, uh, but uh, uh, reaching. Okay, Zcash moving forward, continuing to pump. Moon River is doing well, forming this bull flag. DYDX uh, wants to break out, so I would definitely trade some DYDX. And Kadana, yes, Kadana broke up. Kadana broke up really nicely, so I'm really bullish on Kadana. Kadana is a layer one, to, uh, layer one uh, <clears throat> protocol and uh, with a proof of work mechanism so i'm really bullish on kadana i expect some retest but let's go kadana where is uh sand where is sand guys there is sand here is now sand is correcting reached uh, 8.4 and now correcting coming back to seven us dollars so that was huge now consolidating cool so guys let's come and check our farms uh, our farms running on uh, the Binance Smart Chain and also Ethereum. Now we are just uh, uh, seeing uh, what uh, uh, some some uh, smart contract codes are not working well on the Ethereum farm. So we are just uh, uh, exam examining what's uh, going on there. But uh, uh, farm on the working well, so you can earn three hundred. Percent APR providing liquidity in Corion X BNB and Corion X BUSD pair. So definitely come and uh, provide liquidity on PancakeSwap and uh, look up, stake your LP tokens for this nice return. So thank you for smashing the like. Thank you for uh, leaving some comments and see you tomorrow. Enjoy uh, the Thanksgiving with your family. Uh, talk about crypto and have fun. Bye bye.